Okay, and this, so in this tutorial and the following ones, we'll set up a basic networking and security program using Microsoft.NET uh, with a Windows interface. So all the code should be reusable to be able to create a console application if required. Okay, so the source you should be able to download the source code, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll um, just open it up now and I'll just find the toolkit as a solution. If we open up client, so what we have is code behind, so we have our interface and we also have our code behind. So when we click on any of our buttons that, that we want, we can build, build them with a, the toolkit, drag them onto the form, but uh, we have code behind that one shouldn't have code behind, but with code behind, the, you should be able to uh, type in your code. I'll just paste it in this case. So we've created a method called run program. It basically runs the exe uh, with with some arguments, and it'll read the net to the text output. Okay, so the text output screen is the black text box, and we just set up a method for to be able to do that. Okay, so basically what should happen is that this text box, rather than the normal output, will receive the the output from the program. Okay, so let's quickly look at what we should get. So net start minus a should be able to show us our network connections that we've got. So let's try it here. We've added a code and there we go. Okay, so it's shown us all the ports that we've got that are listening and all the network connections that we've got on at this specific time and there they are okay so that's working fine so for the next one uh, we can do ARP minus the same uh, it's already in there but uh, we would add in our code here and let's have a look at the ARP cache so that cache is a very important uh, thing it keeps a note of all our MAC addresses and IP addresses and it's continually refreshed okay and so let's try and run that now. Okay, R minus A, and there we go. Okay, so continue doing the other commands there. Uh, we can run the net shell uh, program, which is a useful program. Uh, for certain commands. Okay, so it allows you to create a basic batch file uh, to be able to get certain parameters from the, the machine. So in this case, NetShell will be able to uh, delete the ARP cache. We can also set up a firewall rule, and then delete it, and so on. So for the last part, what we'll do is we'll create a button here and then we'll read in the value from the text box and whatever appears there will actually uh, will actually be used to run the program which in this case is ping okay so let's do uh, let's do this one it's a nice look up So from here, I'm basically taking a value which is TBNS lookup. So this this resolves to um, an, a domain name to an IP address and vice versa. Okay, just like this. 
and we'll try Google. And there's all the Google addresses. In fact, there's an IPv6 one in there. Okay, so if you just continue on with the, the rest of that, it gives you a basic introduction to the toolkit. We'll be doing some more advanced things like capturing data packets and run snort in a later one.